Happy Wednesday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day, and we're continuing through the, the book of Mark, and I'd encourage you to follow along because we're in Mark chapter 8, uh, verses 22 through 26. And, and again, it's a passage of Jesus performing a miracle. Listen in. It says, And they, Jesus and the disciples, came to Bethsaida, and some people brought to Jesus a blind man and begged him to touch him. So Jesus took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. And when he had spit on his eyes and laid his hands on him, he asked him, do you see anything? And, and, and the man looked up and said, I see people, but they look like trees walking around. And, and then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he opened his eyes and his sight was restored and he saw everything clearly. And he sent the man to his home saying, do not even enter the village. So again, another great story of Jesus healing a man. And, and there's some things we can learn from this story that uh, I hope will bless you today. The first thing is this, uh, Jesus heals in a variety of ways. You know, this is the only account where he actually spit on a guy's eyes. That's gross, that's disgusting. Even if it's Jesus, come on, it, it, it might be Jesus spit, but it's still spit. And, uh, and he never did that uh, to anybody else. I mean, he spit on some mud and put it on people's eyes. He, you know, he did, he did healing in a variety of ways. There was no formula that Jesus used. And he did that so that we wouldn't try, try to be formulaic followers and say, this is the formula you have to follow to heal people. Look, we want to pray for healing. We want to see miracles happen in people's lives. But that happens because Jesus works, but he doesn't work in the same way all the time. And, and part of that is so that you and I can understand that everybody doesn't experience Jesus the way that we did. So your experience with Jesus and my experience with Jesus were ours, and a lot of times we look at other people and we want them to experience Jesus the same way that we did. And, and that's not how Jesus works. Okay, he reveals himself to people, and, and what I do is I listen to people's experiences, and however God revealed himself to someone, I just want to validate them, but I also want to see the fruit of the Holy Spirit in their lives. In other words, rather than focusing on the experience of how God revealed himself, I, I want to see how they live for Jesus day by day by day. Uh, so Jesus heals in a variety of ways. We see that. We also see that Jesus healed people in order to change lives, not to put on a show. Did you catch that? Jesus took the man and walked out of the village. See, I'm sure the people who brought the blind man to Jesus wanted to see him healed, and Jesus said, thanks, I'll take care of this, and he walked him out of town, away from the crowds. He didn't do it for the public acclaim, uh, and, and that's really significant. Uh, this speaks to today and some of the things we see going on in the religious world, but can I just tell you that if I had the gift of healing, if God miraculously touched me and, and allowed my touch to bring health and healing to people, uh, I would not be on television and I would not be in big arenas. No, I would be in pediatric cancer wards and in NICUs bringing life and health to, to just helpless, innocent ones, little lives that, that need that healing power of God because Jesus healed to change lives, not to put on a show. And, and then I want you to see that when Jesus heals, we eventually see clearly. Now, he had to lay his hands on the, the man's eyes twice, and, and that's kind of different. But eventually, the man saw clearly. And, and look, Jesus wants us to see clearly. I mean, he's bringing healing to our lives, healing to our minds, healing to our souls, so that we can see the world the way that God sees the world. You see, all of us have a very limited vantage point on life. We see from our perspective. And, and the reason that we... Uh, read the Word of God, the reason that we study Scripture, the reason that we uh, surrender repeatedly to the Holy Spirit is so that we can see the world from God's perspective and not ours. And by the way, God's perspective is going to be more truth, it's also going to be more love, and it's going to be more grace than what you and I would bring to the table on our own. So today, I pray that you see clearly the blessings of God in your life, I pray that you see the work of God and the redeeming power of God in your life and in the lives of those around you. Because if you do that, you'll be walking in faith and you'll know that Jesus has healed your soul. God bless. Have a beautiful day, Calvary.